Social Security Administration. How can I help you? Yeah, yeah, I got a call, a voicemail to call this number about my Social Security. Something wrong with it? Okay, can I have your name? Sure, Alexander <laughs> Vlasdesanko. And when did you receive that call, sir? Oh, it was about quarter after 12, quarter after I just got home. It was here. And that call is regarding your social, is that correct? That's what they said, yes. Okay, can you confirm me the last four number of your social so that I can pull out your information? 1463. Just give me a quick moment so that I can get a hold of your file. Okay. Thank you for holding the line. You're still there? Yes, I'm here. Well, I have pulled out your file and here I can see that there are some legal enforcement actions which we file on your social and I have received an order to suspend your social right now at this moment at this because moment? your social has been that's right uh -oh. your social has been found suspicious for oh. criminal activities How's in the possible? state of Maryland Maryland so have you that's right have you ever been there I drove through there once but I never stopped okay and have you ever lost your wallet with any kinds of state ID, medical no, card, no. or social security no. card in it? No, no, I got a chain on it. it. Don't go nowhere. Okay, and is there anyone apart from you who have an access to your social number? Mm, no, I don't think so. Well, the reason why I'm asking all this information is because this case is the theft of identity. Someone is using your social in the state of Maryland for committing criminal activities. Well, I don't know how And this is be. the ongoing investigation call. Oh. That's the reason I was asking for your social. Oh. Just to make sure that I'm not investigating any innocent person, all right? Well, I am innocent. I didn't do anything. Right. I personally believe that you are not the real culprit behind this criminal activity. Well, no. But in order to prove your innocence, I need some evidence. This is why I'm recording this conversation as a proof, okay. which I'm going to use inside the courthouse. Okay. So whatever you, whatever you speak, whatever you come on this recorded line. Whatever I come on this line. Here. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Great. First of all, can you tell me how old are you at this moment? At this moment, I'm 70. Same. I was. And can you help too. me out with your CD zip code? My zip, yeah, one three one one eight. Well, as I was on the call with you for the past few minutes, I came to know that you don't have any information about this case, right? No, just what they said on the thing. They said that there was something wrong with it, but I don't know what could be wrong with it. I've had it since 1966. Okay. Well, first of all, can you grab a piece of paper and a pen with you so that you can write down your case ID and some of my personal information? Okay, go ahead. Well, I want you to write down your case ID. It's okay. Starting with the lat it's starting with the letter D, okay. like David. D Okay. M as a Mary. D M. C as a Charlie. C like a Charlie. Okay. And the number three three, three four. Three four. Okay. That is your case ID and my name is Nelson Gray. Nelson Gray? That's right. And I work here as an investigation officer uh -huh. with the patch number of 72. 72? That's it? Okay. Zero one oh. five. Zero one five. Okay. And okay. as I was on the call with you for the past few minutes, okay. I came to know that you don't have any information about this case, right? No, I told you that, you don't. Well, I'm going to relay all the information. Okay. But before I go ahead... Hello? Hello? Mr. Gray? Yes, can you hear me? Yes, what happened? I lost you. Yes, your voice is breaking up. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. so sorry for the inconvenience. Okay. Well, see, see okay. I'm going to relay all the information, mm -hmm. but I want you to know that this line is being recorded by the higher authorities. Oh. So I will really appreciate if you do not interrupt me between while I'm giving you the information. Is that okay? 
Well, yeah, I don't. Yeah, if the higher authorities are listening. Great. Okay. So first of all, this investigation was started three weeks back three. when we found an abandoned car on the south border of Maryland, and the uh, car contained some blood and drugs inside it. What was it on the border of? What? It's in the state of Maryland. Yeah, but it was on the south border. What's on the south border of Maryland? I don't remember. Is it Virginia? No, it's in Woodlawn, city Woodlawn. Yeah, but it's yeah, but it's the the uh, south border of Maryland. I believe connects to Virginia, the state That's of right. Virginia. Yes. And or see, maybe it's well, maybe it's I don't know. Well, go ahead. And there were two addresses linked okay. with the title of that vehicle. Oh, okay. And the address, which were in the city of Woodlawn, Woodlawn. was raided by the Sounds. U.S. Marshal. Sounds but like unfortunately, yeah. there was no one available at the residence. But we have recovered oh. 22 pounds of cocaine, which is a highly abusive drug. Oh, fool. And it some sure documentation is. from... I'm sorry? I said it sure is abusive. Highly. I mean, once you get hooked on that, you're done. Yes. The address was raided by the U.S. Marshal, but unfortunately there was no one available oh. at the residence. But we have recovered 22 pounds of cocaine and some documentation from financial institutes, such as Chase Bank, Bank of America, and U.S. Bank. After this investigation, we have recovered 22 pounds of cocaine. I know, and you told me that. Yes. 20 bank account and 11 credit cards under your name that is linked with your social on it. So can you tell me all this 20 bank account belongs to you? 20? No, I don't have 20 bank accounts. And all these 11 credit cards belongs to you? No, I don't have 11 credit cards. I got one. Well, in that case... Oh, two. We will be two. Two. I got a Visa and a Best Buy. See, first of all, we are going to differentiate your account from the culprit so okay. that we can go ahead and freeze all these remaining fake bank accounts okay. under your name. Okay. So in order to differentiate your account, I want you to confirm me the name of the bank that you are dealing with right now. The Bank of Warsaw. It's a Bank of Warsaw, right? Yes. And in this Bank of Warsaw, what type of account do you have? Is it a checking or saving? Both. I got both there, yes. And is it the only bank that you're dealing? Well, yeah. I only need one. Okay, not a problem. Well, first of all, can you confirm me the available balance in your checking account? Uh, checking, I probably got 700. And in saving? Probably 300. And do you have a debit card that is linked with this bank of Orsa? Yes. Uh -huh. And you told me that you are dealing with only two credit cards. The first one is Visa and the second one is Best Buy, is that correct? Yes, yes, I have Best Buy. I buy various electronic items through Best Buy. Well, Mr. Alexander, all this entire paperwork has your name on it and a thousand of dollars has been wired from this bank account locally and internationally, which totally seems suspicious to us. Me too. Because this type of money this type of money laundering were recently found in terrorist activities. That terrorist. is the reason that's right. That's the reason we as a social security administration of the state, Maryland, has filed a case against you for drug trafficking. Against me? As well as money that's right. How can you do that? You said it wasn't me. You just money told me you just told me it wasn't me. That's right. Well then how can but you file a case against me? But in this regard, we have also checked your past record. And we came to know that your banking contains a tuning record and your social have no other complaint in the past. Well, why would anybody complain about my social security number? That is the reason we try to reach you before you face any legal consequences. Okay. All right? Yeah, sure. Well, well, we, uh, and right I, now... Okay, mm -hmm. go ahead. Right now, let me tell you one more important thing. We are going to suspend your social. No, and let me you tell can't. you why we are Oh boy. See, it's because your social is already compromised into the wrong hands. You and the culprit both are using the same social right now. And we could not identify which one is real and which one is fake. So in order to save you from this fraud, 
we are going to issue a new social under your name oh, by okay. tomorrow itself. Oh, okay. And see, I will be transferring your call to one of my senior officials. He will help you, he will guide okay. you on how to clear your name and how, on how to get your new social. Okay. So will you be able to cooperate with the U.S. Treasury? Cooperate? Yeah, I can cooperate with them, but I don't know what they want. Well, in that case, I will be transferring your call to my senior official. He will help you and he will guide you. Do okay. not disconnect the line. Be on the line. Okay. Thank you. Hello? Yes, hello. Your line has been just transferred to the senior officer. This is David Miller. Okay, David and Miller. And this is Alexander, right? Alexander Blestisanko, yes. All right. So, I believe that you just had a word with my subcoordinate officer, right? Yes, Nelson. Yes, I spoke to Nelson. Okay. And I believe that the officer that you spoke with right now had explained you everything about your case? Yeah, there's something about the south border of Maryland and 22 pounds of cocaine. But I'm 70 years old. I don't know what I'd be doing on the south border of Maryland with 22 pounds of cocaine. I do completely understand that. So, well, the first thing that I'm telling you here is that we have been through your past record, we have been through your social. Mm -hmm. And we completely believe that, that you are an innocent person and that I, you have nothing to do with this case. I don't. Right? Okay. Well, at this moment, as the previous officer had already told you that, there are several criminal activities which has been done under your social security you told number. told me that, yeah. But yes. it wasn't me. And <clears throat> I do understand that. And as, as according to the law enforcement agencies and the uh, social security administration, the social was found suspicious for some for committing all these criminal activities in other states, right? Right, in Maryland. I yes. drove through and Maryland we have, once, but I never stopped. I understand you. I was on the way to North Carolina, so, and I drove through it. I understand that. Yeah. So, the first thing, well, as we have checked your past record, all right, which we have evidence to prove that, that you are an innocent person, but we want you to cooperate with us so that we can assure that, right, in the courthouse to prove that, that you are a complete innocent person, that you have nothing to do with this case. Okay, right? I don't. Okay. So, the first thing that what we'll have to do is that, as we already have an order to suspend your existing social security number, we're going to be doing that. But we're going to be providing you a temporary social security number under your name. Okay, what's the and number? once you... What's the number going to be? We'll, we'll have to down. issue the new number, okay? Okay, what is it? I'll, I'll write it down. No, we have not We have not registered that for you yet, okay? Oh, when well, are we going to do gonna that? We're going to be doing that. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So, we're going to provide you with the huh? social security number, a temporary right. social security number. But you want to tell me what it is. And once you have the temporary is, social I security I number. I what it is. I don't know. Sir, I want you to listen to me first, all right? Okay. Once you have the temporary social security number under your name, then you will not be facing any problem in the future. Automatically, your name will be out of this case. And the only person that who will be left with your existing social, which you're using right now, that will be the culprit, the and culprit. that will be more easy for us to, to catch, catch the real culprit. Catch Do you understand me? That makes sense, yeah. Yeah, it does. If you, if you okay. cancel mine, then you get the culprit because he's the one using mine. Okay. okay. But before that, let me just notify you one thing that but tomorrow morning there will be an officer at your doorstep. There will be a two officer. One will be with the U.S. Marshal from your local area. Oh. One will be with the Social Security from our department. Okay. And when these what two officers come to at your doorstep, what are they coming here they're going to provide you... Would you let me finish, sir? Well, I'm wondering what they're coming to my house for. Well, that's what I'm trying to tell you. What they're gonna come for? Well, okay? tell me. Okay. That's why I'm asking. That's why I'm asking you to just be quiet and listen oh. to me. Well, I'm trying to listen, but I got questions. I mean, people are coming to my house. They don't know. I don't know what they're gonna do. So they that's won't why tell I'm me. asking you. That's why I'm asking you to listen to me, all right, so that I can explain you anything, everything about it, okay? Okay. What they're gonna do? Why they're gonna come into a chido shop? Just listen to me, okay? All right. I'll give you a fair chance. All right. I'll give you okay. a fair chance to speak. All right. Okay. So when the officers come to a chido shop, they're gonna provide you with the temporary social security number. 
They're going to provide you a complete legal paperwork. They're going to provide you the <clears throat> new bank account as well, right? That which you are banking with a today. New bank account. Because yes. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. Are you are you banking with the Bank of Warsaw? Yes. Okay. I do understand that. So now let me tell you at this moment, say, there is a little problem, like as I have oh. told you earlier, that which we are facing right now, that. The problem is, if I suspend your existing social number right now at this moment, then automatically all those accounts that which we have found in this investigation, that is going to be freeze for the six month of the investigation six time. Six months? Including, yes, including your bank account as well. Because That's no good. That is I linked can't with do your that. social security no, I number. I can't do that. I can't do that. Can't let you freeze it for six months. You are not listening to me, and you keep keep saying that I am you're trying to listen to me I am trying so, to just, listen to you but you but said you're going to cancel me you're going to freeze my bank for six months I can't go for six months without money okay how about that so if I suspend your social security number right now at this moment no I don't want to no so would you listen to me okay get upset so because why your bank account is going to be freeze is because once your social security number goes down, then your account has to be go down as well because that is linked with your social security number, okay? And that is the reason. And now, as we believe that, okay, if that's going to be happening to you, so that will definitely cause you a lot of problems. Well, right? sure will. That's what I'm trying to tell you, but you won't let me tell you that. It's going to cause a lot of problems. So that's why, by understanding the situation, the government has provided you with a safeguard security wallet where you can save your assets, the funds that you have of the today, all right, so that your credit score would not get, would not be get defected, all right? My credit score? So, yes, every single What's person my credit has a credit score. I know every person's got one. What's this got to do with my credit score? Because... Your credit score is to link with your financial facilities, as in bank. Yeah, right? I, know. I know. I know what a credit and score is linked with. If your social, if you, if your social security number breaks down, then your bank account will be break down as well. So if this is gonna happen, so that will be completely ruined for your life. I ruin my life, oh boy. Do you understand me? Yeah, you want to ruin my life? Yeah, boy, it's a great government, isn't it? So, at this moment, right, what you'll have to do is that, as the government has provided you a safeguard security locker, right, where you can safely secure your asset and your funds. So, what you'll have to do is that you just need to simply convert your funds into a electronic currency. And once you do that, you will have to keep that electronic currency safe and secure with you. And... I don't, be I don't even know what an electronic case. currency is. I'm 70 years old. I never heard of electronic currency. That's what I'm going to tell you, right? That's what I'm going to tell you. Just let me speak. That's what I'm trying to okay, tell you. Okay, go ahead. Let I'm trying speak. to remain calm. I'm trying to remain calm. Electronic, see, electronic currency is a mode, right? It's a mode to a transfer the money, right? Which you have of the today in your current account, right? To your new account. Because as your bank account is going to be freeze with your current social security number, so you will have to get yourself a new bank account. So that will be automatically transferred to your new bank account. That's why I or told you the officer will be providing bank? you would you let me speak? Can I get it at the same bank? Yes, you will get into the same bank. Okay, that's all I wanted to know. I'm, apparently, I can't ask as many questions here. That's why I told you the officer will be at your doorstep, right? They're going to provide you with the new bank account with the same okay. bank, right? And the funds that you have of the today that will be automatically transferred to your new bank account as well, okay? okay? Okay. And you said you bank with the Bank of Warsaw? Bank of Warsaw, for the fifth time, the Bank of Warsaw. And how do you spell that, W-O-R-S-A? -W no. And how does it spell? Sorry, how does it spell? It spells W-A-R-S-A-W, Warsaw. Like the city in Poland, except it's here. W A R S 
A W, right? Yep. Okay. Who's that guy yelling? All right, so I'm clear with that. I'm sorry. Who's that guy yelling? I'm really sorry. That is a. Sorry, that is my colleague, right? Uh, so as he, the, the why is he yelling so at people? Be a, I'm sorry. Why is he yelling at people? He's a government employee. Yes, I do understand that. Boy, oh boy, I wouldn't deal with him. Okay, so what I was telling, what what I was trying to tell you is that, okay. But, uh, so what you need to do is that, okay, you just have to convert your funds into a digital currency, all right? Okay. That digital currency is a mode of a mode of a transaction. It's a mode of I transaction, I know. Okay. Yes. Now, what do and I do with this after I get the it? money that you you will be the money that which you will be saving today, all right? That will be automatically transferred to your new bank account. Okay. Okay. So what you need to do is that you need to go to the nearest government certified store, store as in Kroger's, Target, or Giant Eagle. Giant or Eagle. Public. Oh, yes. we got his Target. We don't have none of those other places. Okay, and can you let me know that? Is there any other store nearby you? Target. Okay, you have a target. All right, that is completely fine. And is there any other store, as in CVS Pharmacy, 7-Eleven, Rite Aid, or any other store? Yeah, we got them. What do I need them for? And let me tell you, the mode of the, trans the, mode of the transaction, like as I told you, the digital currency, You'll have to get yourself, all right? You'll have to get that, and you just have to you do, you will have to reload the amount that you have of the today in the digital currency, all right? Okay. And then, then you will have to register that. Then automatically that will transfer to your new bank account. Oh. And when the officer comes to at your doorstep, so they're gonna pro you just have to verify those with the officer. Then they're gonna provide you with the new bank account and a new social security number. Okay. Okay. All right. So. I want you to get ready, okay? Get and ready I want for you to what? ready to leave, ready to go to the target. I can't go to the target. Why? There's a pandemic. I'm a vulnerable person. <laughs> you are a vulnerable person. I understand that, but I'm 70. Yes. To go to the target. I'm vulnerable. I can't go to target. I catch that COVID. Well, first thing, let me tell you, all right? There are lots of people, all right? They are still traveling, okay? Yeah, but they're they not vulnerable. Not they're not vulnerable. Yet. They're not vulnerable like me. You can wear a mask. You I got a mask. Wear, mask. I got a mask. mask. Yeah, I got a mask just in case. Cover your mouth. Then cover your mouth. Then get, get yourself a sanitizer. Just go. Get myself a what? Sanitizer. Set a license. Sanitizer. Sanitizer. I don't know what that even is. Okay, so you can get the marks and you can go to the target. Okay, what well, I'm going to do when I get to target? You need to go to the target. Okay. Right? You need to get yourself the electronic one, sorry, the digital currency. Okay. Yeah. That's what I'm going to guide you with that. Okay. And so you need to do how where am I going to get the money to buy this electronic currency? You will have to use your debit card. Okay. So let me get this straight. I'm going to take you take my debit card. And buy these electronic cards, right? Mm -hmm. And then I'll have the electronic cards mm -hmm. and then give them to the guy tomorrow. Yes. And then what happens to my money? Your money will be automatically transferred to your new bank account. So the money goes back in the same bank? Yes. And just somehow makes sense to you? Not the same bank. New bank account with the same bank, all right? You will be getting... Why don't I just go account. to the bank, take my money out and bring it home, and then I'll close that account, and then you'll know it's not me. Let me tell you, there is a case against you for the money laundering. So if you do that, then there will be a... Sorry, if you directly withdraw your funds or buy the money, so you, that will show on your credit record that you have buy the money and that you have a withdraw the funds. It's my money. I can do whatever I want with it. All right, you can do that. Thank you and have a great day. Hey, how about if you uh, stick those electronic cards up your ass, you scamming fuck?